videos that I came through this year about that topic, and I would just like to thank everybody who were extremely supportive of that program, um, and they will be hugely supportive of any work, any work I've done about concussion and brain injury. Um, and discussions and interviews on Sky News, they always come forward and, and speak to us and try and raise awareness. Um, so I really appreciate them both doing that and then asking to come back for a third year now. So uh, I'd just like to say thank you very much to the charity, to Luke, to Joe and everyone at Peter for asking to come present the awards, which we will back on with. Now throughout today's event, you're going to hear some extremely emotional stories, make some very, very special people. I hope you're touched by these stories, um, and I hope you'll be inspired as well. Most of all, I hope you'll be motivated to do all you can to help improve life for people who use Headway after brain injury. Now, these awards are about celebrating the fact that with the right help and at the right time, there can be life after brain injury, as demonstrated by this amazing film you're going to see. We're walking towards the station. Jamie stops. Looks at his watch, and then he's gone. Oh, we're 15 minutes early for the train. When I got to the hospital, I thought, well, how how can it be so bad? You know, he only hit him once, like. Surely he's, you know, just been knocked out and then woken up. And the doctor came in and he just basically said, you know, Jamie's suffered a really severe brain injury. So I think at that point, that's the first time we realised Jamie could die, you know. This could be, you know, the end of his life. It didn't really occur to me that something bad would come out of this situation. We, I, I don't know how you thought, but yeah. you think, oh, it's Jamie, he's tough. You know, he, he'll pull through this. Um. The Jamie that existed before he was punched doesn't exist anymore. You know, the Jamie that I met, he died that day. And the Jamie we have now is a different version of him. What could you remember about what had happened? Nothing, nothing. Sometimes you get angry, don't you, about it? Throughout his whole time at rehab, he always said, I just want to ride, I just want to ride. And I thought, you know, that's a good long-term goal. Might take him a few years before he's strong enough or has the right balance again to get back on his bike.
brilliant film that made me to start this afternoon as well. That was Jamie McKechnie um, in that film, who's a finalist in last year's Achiever of the Year Awards. It's really clear to see why. Um, his spirit, his determination, and the love and devotion of his wife Ellen there should serve, hopefully, as an inspiration to us all. And that film, by the way, has been seen on the Guardian's Facebook page more than 7 million times in the past month, which is incredible. Uh, the full 10 minute long version can also be viewed on the Headway website and the space. Speaking of achievements, it is time now to meet this year's finalists, each of whom have an equally uplifting story to tell. Firstly, I'd like to invite on stage our Vice President, James Cracknell, who will present the awards. He's also an Olympian. Cheer of the Year Award, it's sponsored by Slater and Gordon Lawyers. Now, this award is named in recognition of the extraordinary achievements that have occurred in the name of Alex Richardson. Alex was just 21 years old when he died after sustaining a brain injury, and since then, his family and his friends have done an amazing amount to raise awareness and improve services for people affected by brain injury. Alex's parents, Chris, Arne, and Annie, are with us today, and I'd like to invite them up on stage to assist James in making the presentations for this special award and joining Chris. Annie and James is Deborah Johnson from Slater and Gordon Solicitors, who sponsor this award. Please welcome them all. Onto the stage. <laughs> now, achievements after brain injury are very personal, they're unique to every individual, and that is obviously the same for the brain injury itself. And the achievements of all our finalists here today can't be measured in any other way than that to the extent to which they've moved and inspired those around them. And they certainly inspired people along the way. The first person we're going to honour today is from Headway Cardiff, and that is Jan Hampson. An ABI as a result of a rare brain condition, and with the ongoing support of Headway Cardiff, she's made tremendous progress as she battled to regain lost skills and confidence. Jan was determined to help others by setting up a monthly social group called Brainy Friends, which is run entirely by and for brain injury survivors. And now that the Hollywood photos are done, Jan, if you take a look at the screen just behind you, you'll see a couple of your friends at Headway Cardiff have sent you a message once the photos are done. last October. She was on the interview panel for my job. Since then, Spike the Track has become a firm fixture in my life. Before being diagnosed with Chiari malformation in 2011, Jan led an active and adventurous lifestyle. Now her condition means that she can't do many of the things that are important to her, and this has had a huge impact on her and her family. Jan and her husband first came to us for support, but now they play important roles in our social groups. We're nominating Jan as Headway Achiever of the Year for setting up the Brainy Friends Group. Jan felt that friends made through Headway Cardiff needed more chances to get together. She knows how isolated people can become. Every month, an expanding group meets up, often for a walk or wheel, followed by a catch-up over a coffee. We're so pleased that Jan has made it possible for people to get together without any input from our staff and volunteers. We want everyone not to need us anymore. And because of her drive, determination and warmth, Jan is helping to make this possible. And through thick and thin, Jan is always there if you need something. She's a great person. And Jan has helped so many people and I think it's helped her as well. I want to thank you, Jan, very much for everything sent our brand new friends. And we've all become very good brand new friends. Lucy sustained an anoxic brain injury 
and she had to relearn absolutely everything, including how to say her own name. She also lost her sight. With hard work and determination, she's continuing to improve her communication skills, though, and recently spoke her first sentence in public, announcing, in fact, her joy at being a finalist in the Headway Awards. Mobility does remain a huge challenge for Lucy, which makes her achievement of completing a 2.6-mile version of the London Marathon to raise money for Headway Hertfordshire even more amazing. And I think there's a lot of nieces and nephews in the audience supporting uh, Lucy today, so she's got a lot of family here to say well done. And Lucy, we also have a special video for you. Hi, my name's Pauline Gentle, and I work for Headway Hertfordshire. I nominated Lucy Thurlow for Achievement of the Year 2016. Lucy is such an inspirational young lady, and in the last four years, she has achieved so much. Through sheer determination and passion, has seen Lucy go from wheelchair bound to walking. Lucy completed her own 2.6 mile marathon this year to raise funds for Headway Hertfordshire, and she raised over £2,600. Lucy is respected and loved by everybody who meets her. Hello Lulu, I'd love you to win this award because you're the best auntie ever. You're amazing. I look forward to seeing you whenever we come. I love it when you laugh. Your funny stories you tell are amazing and hilarious. I can't believe you got up to that stuff when you were little. I love you really. Good luck Lulu. Lulu is disabled and she sits in a wheelchair. She is blind but she can hear. She loves it when we go to see her. We give her big hugs and we tell her all our news about football and school. Lulu makes me laugh and she laughs too. Good luck Lulu, you're the best auntie ever. Hello Lulu, what do you like about Lulu? When she tells funny stories and hugs me. How do you make her laugh? By wearing a balloon and letting it go and it makes a pop noise. How much do you love her? Millions! We love you Lulu! fatigue and social isolation has achieved amazing things including completing college courses currently at university studying for a degree in art as well. So Michael is also a passionate supporter of and fundraiser for Headway Ayrshire and they've provided him with invaluable support. And Michael, there is a message for you from your friends. In 2007, 
Michael suffered an unprovoked assault the night before starting his university degree in nursing. Michael was referred to Hedley Ayrshire after a stay in Ansley Ainsley. He required a craniotomy and was suffering from severe epileptic uncontrolled seizures. After a lot of persuasion, Michael joined the Air Art Group, where with a lot of encouragement and perseverance he began to flourish. In 2014 he gained his HNC and in 2015 he graduated with his HND. He also did his own art exhibition and has even sold to some of its own exhibits. Today Michael is at university studying art. What you have achieved, Michael, is against all the odds. It's down to your own hard work and also your very stubborn personality. <laughs> You're a very special person indeed and a well-worthy nominee for Headway Achiever of the Year. So from everyone at Headway Ayrshire, enjoy your day, Michael, and good luck. And also good luck from the Air Art Group. I've known Michael for about three years now and I'm delighted he's been nominated for this award. He's a great personality and such a positive outlook in life and he's an inspiration to the members of Henry Ayrshire. Good luck Michael and wishing you all the best. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, your Henry Ayrshire is Carer of the Year and Erica Turner from our category sponsor Sweet Tree Home Care Services is kindly meant to help us present these awards alongside James. So welcome Erica. Now you'll often hear talk of brain injured families, that's because we know that brain injury of course does not simply affect the individual and significantly alters the lives of the entire family and friends around. The love and devotion of a partner, family or friend can make a huge difference to the life of someone who's battling to rebuild their lives after brain injury and our admirations for the thousands of people across the UK who do that is boundless. Today we honour just three of those very tough things to do, but firstly, please welcome to the stage from Headway Gloucestershire, Gail Lewis. Severe traumatic brain injury in 1995 at the age of just 16. As a result, Tina has quadriplegia with spasticity and ataxia. She also suffers from memory difficulties, needs support with all acts of personal care and daily living. In the years following her injury, Gail has worked selflessly with great creativity to ensure that Tina's daily life is both stimulating and varied, ensuring that the complex care that she needs are met without compromise or delay. Now, supported by Headway Gloucestershire, Gail is unrelenting in her determination to support her daughter. There's a message of support. Gail Lucas's daughter, Tina, was involved in a serious road traffic accident. And over the past 21 years, Gail's shown us what a dynamic, phenomenal, loving mother and carer really looks like. I think Gail is an absolute incredible inspiration. If everyone had a mum or even just a friend like Gail, the world would be a better place. Gail is an absolutely fantastic woman. She's a brilliant mum, a brilliant carer, and the most unfuckable person I've ever met. I've known Gail for about 17 years, and she's still a wonder woman. Gail Lucas, what a force of nature. Gail Lucas, what an incredible woman. Her care, compassion, and love for Tina never falters. I think it's so inspiring how dedicated Gail is. Hello, Mum. Gail, congratulations. Thank you. Next time, this is from Edway, Edinburgh, and that is Janet Malcolm. Welcome, Janet. suffered a stroke in 2014. The former fireman was left with a lot of long-term health issues, including severe mobility and communication problems. With support from Headway Edinburgh, Janet's dedicated her life to providing Andy with round-the-clock care that he needs, and he's been selfless in adapting her needs to support her husband of 49 years, spending numerous hours teaching Andy how to do simple tasks that he once would have taken for granted. He is now able to make himself drinks and a choice of simple meals, which have significantly boosted his confidence and independence. Janet, video for you. My name is Lee Gordon, and I'm the Rehabilitation Coordinator here at Edinburgh Headway Group. 
where we've been supporting adults with acquired injuries and their carers for over 33 years. Our tag team is delighted to nominate Janet Malcolm for the Carer of the Year Award. In January 2014, Janet's husband suffered a stroke, which has affected mainly his speech, but also his mobility and his mood, as well as causing him to have epileptic seizures, which often leaves him too frightened to go out of the house alone. This has changed both his and Janet's life drastically. Janet's life has changed suddenly as she now faces a future of being our husband's carer. But with a positive and courageous approach, we have witnessed Janet's determination in making sure that her husband is as comfortable as he can be and offer the equality and the dignity that he deserves. With little or no time to herself, Janet makes sure they have a full week of activities planned and is constantly encouraging and reassuring her husband that he can speak if he tries. Janet managed to get him a face machine which helps him with his walking and makes regular points with his friends to try and keep his mood up. Janet does an incredible amount in her caring role, from when she gets up in the morning to when she falls asleep at night, even being on call in the middle of the night. Janet doesn't think that anything she does is above the call of duty, when in reality she's not only caring for her husband, but she's constantly encouraging him and pushing him to benefit himself. Hello Janet, this is Emily from Edinburgh Navy Group, wishing you any success. We truly believe you deserve this award, and we hope you're rooting for you. And we'd just like to say, well done and... Yes. 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 Congratulations. So we have our of the Year Award this year from Headway Alameda, Heather Bowman. Gary suffered a near fatal brain hemorrhage in his sleep and Heather was informed by doctors there was limited brain functionality and Gary would be unable to then communicate or express his wishes. However, through eye contact alone, Gary is able to communicate with his wife and continues to make slow but definite improvements. Now a member of Headway Ballymena, Heather is devoted to caring for her husband. Three years on, she continues to visit Gary at hospital every single day and is now adapting their home with the hopes that Gary will be able to find out in time for Christmas. Heather, this is for you. Hi, Heather. It's Mom here. I'm wishing you good luck in the award ceremony. Best of luck, Heather. You deserve it. Heather brings an awful lot to me. She's a very kind person. And no matter when you're talking to her, she's always the same, very happy and all this talking about Gary and her husband. I'm sure they'd like to have them home. Heather has taken on everything um, to support Gary, um, as well as fundraising for um, Henry Ballymena. She's an absolute, an absolute inspiration to all of us. Um, we just love her smile, we just love how positive she is. Um, we just wish her all the best. There is no I with Heather it's Ray, her and Gary. I think I know Gary as well as I know anyone, and yet I've never spoken to him, he has no words. Heather is his words. I hope someday, Heather, you get your wish and you hear his wee voice again. The reason why I think Heather Bowman should win this award is because she's such an inspiration and such a smiling, happy face. Ne never any negatives, always positives. So I just want to say that, you know, I think she's very deserving of this award. And good luck, Heather. Edwige Kerry. <laughs> Our next award honours the amazing army of Headway volunteers. Without whom the charity would simply not be able to function. Whether they're holding fundraising or awareness days, working in the charity shops, driving a minibus to allow service users to attend their local centre, or working within the centres themselves, of course, to assist lots of programmes of care, support, and rehabilitation that the groups carry out and the branches. These amazing individuals are the backbone of this charity, and we do thank all of them. The three finalists we have with us today have all gone to extraordinary lengths to show tremendous support and dedication to Headway and to help us honour them. We can ask Jackie Spinks from Anthony Gold Solicitors to join us on the stage if she comes. First up in the Volunteer of the Year Award from Headway North Northumberland, Leslie Stevenson. Over the past decade, Leslie 
Please so give up our time, energy, and emotion to head way more Northumberland, acting as a volunteer and a chair for the branch that she helped to establish. Leslie organises an activity day each month, and is also constantly on the lookout for fundraising opportunities to support that branch's activities. And Leslie does all of this voluntary, voluntarily, sorry, with no desire for any reward other than seeing the enjoyment of the Headway members. Let's take a look at the message of support from you, Leslie. This has been an amazing part of this group. That person is the way you have had this group in the 90s. Thank you. I just don't think everybody realised at the same time what you actually do. We really wish you the very best for tonight. You do. Take care. Hi Leslie, thanks for doing everything you do. You put your heart and soul into everything and you deserve the award. Thank you. In inspiration and in understanding to us all. Leslie, it's great to have you as a lady case. You've got this award because you're really just nervous. No one can be here and have you. I'm so delighted because of all the work you put in. Unpaid.
and um, she just gives her, her time so selflessly and of course her expertise as a drama therapist are just invaluable to all of her services. So Pamela, from everyone over here in Northern Ireland, I just want to say the very best of luck and we're behind you all the way because you're so deserving of us. Good luck. My son goes to Pamela's classes once a month and he gets just gets so much out of them. She's so good with them. He does things with Pamela that I never thought I would do. I just want to wish her all the best. Hello, thank you. Please congratulate our very good Thank you for the chance Right, under our final category today is the Stephen McAleese Outstanding Contribution to Headway Award. Now, Stephen dedicated his life to helping others. He made an outstanding contribution to everything he did in life including supporting headway and improving the lives of people who, like himself, were living with an acquired brain injury. We're honoured that Stephen's parents, John and Susan, are here today to make a presentation. I'd like to welcome them on stage now, alongside Chris White QC from Number 5 Chambers, who are kindly sponsoring the award. You can read a bit more about Stephen, by the way, on the Headway website. I suggest you do so. It's an incredible story, and uh, he was an incredible man. Um, our first finalist for this award is from Headway East Kent, and that is Sue Hawkins. <laughs> After sustaining a brain injury in 1993 as a result of a hemorrhage, which left her Unable to speak or do any of the basic tasks that she did take for granted, Sue was helped by Headway East Kent and she finally began to come to terms with her brain injury. And in 2006, she asked to then become a volunteer at the charity in order to give something back and help others as she herself had been helped. Sue always goes the extra mile to support members across the group's several hubs and after 10 years as a volunteer and approaching her 70th birthday now, Sue's decided the time is right to step down as a volunteer but with an absolutely outstanding contribution to the charity. So Sue, there's a video for you as well. Hello everybody, my name is Linda Curley from Headway East Kent. I just wanted to say a few words about Sue Hawkins who are nominated for the award today. I'm in the Canterbury Day Centre today, Sue. Um, just to let you know, we all seem to know you and we hope you have a really good time. And whether you win or not, we are going to we are going to support you. It's <laughs> not going wrong now. Um, but you are quicker in our eyes anyway, so, so good luck, have a really nice day, and we're thinking of you. Good luck, Sue. Good luck, Sue. Good luck, Sue. Good luck, Sue. That looks like an amazing group. <laughs> Next finalist from Headway Gloucestershire is Norma Williams. <laughs> Norma's dedication and passion have uh, been invaluable to the ongoing development of Headway Gloucestershire. Uh, now, she did originally tell the organising staff that she'd only been doing this for a decade, 10 years, but she's so modest that she's actually been doing it for 24 years. So I'm not too sure why she decided to tell us a slight fib there. Anyway. Uh, including six years as a trustee, she supported staff, volunteers and survivors through a lot of changes and challenges faced by the group and she spent her entire adult life caring for her son, Gareth, as well, who was born with Down syndrome and has profound learning disabilities. Much of Norma's life has revolved around him, yet she still has the time to give care to other people without hesitation as well, generously and with great warmth. So Norma, let's hear what your friends have to say. My name is Ali Endley and I'm a member of the team at Headway Gloucestershire. We've nominated Norma Williams for a Headway UK award because she is every kind of fabulous. She's been with us for the last 23 years and she is phenomenal. She comes in with such warmth, such positivity, so welcoming, and she takes the time to notice how everybody is. She never gets tired of meeting new people, whether they be staff, volunteers or survivors and she gets everybody together into a warm community. Not only have we had the benefit of Norma's time as a volunteer, she's also been a trustee for us, helping to shape the organisation here so that we can improve our offer to survivors of brain injury and increase the support we can offer them. She's a powerhouse. 
but don't just take my word for it. Listen to what some of the other people here at Headway Gloucestershire have to say. She is brilliant. Help on. Yeah. Very nice. Great support. Thank you. And then four, three, four, three. Lovely person. Fabulous. So this is the final award of the day. In 2016, Stephen McAleese's outstanding contribution to Headway Award goes to Headway Lincolnshire's Jane Rings. For more than 23 years, Jane has been a vital, ever-present member of support for many families across Lincolnshire who are coming to terms with the devastating consequences of a brain injury. She's also provided advice and expertise to Headway Lincolnshire, joining the board as a trustee in 2010. And with her guidance, that branch has developed into a group that continues to flourish. In addition, Jane uses her experience to work with local clinicians to raise awareness and the understanding of brain injury. So this is our final video message of support for our winner, Jane. I nominated Jane Means because she's been such a support for me over the last six and a half years in my job role with Headway Lincolnshire. Um, my mum has brain injuries, she's had two brain injuries and cancer diagnosis as well, so she's been fantastic to support for myself and my family. She's been a mentor, a confidant, she's always at the other end of the phone for me. Doesn't matter what time of day I'm over, she'll always be there to pick up. She gives me a listening ear, she's just an amazing person and I can't think of anybody more deserving than Jane for this award. If you could pull a little bit out of each category that the Headway Awards, you'd find that Jane does them all. But the biggest thing about Jane Means is she's got a heart. She's supported me, my family, even my granddaughter. And I'm filling up because she's such a special person. So, fingers crossed. Uh, Jane Bean very supportive. She's a good friend. And she's always welcoming. And no matter who you are, what you do, she's always been very friendly. She always remembers your name. Always and most welcome. Good Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you so much for coming to And to Chris Bright from the Council of Level Award Number 5 Chamber. So round of applause for you. It always, it always strikes me and gets to me just how um, amazing all of these people and all the people who work with the charity are and the wider volunteers as well. Lots of people who haven't been on stage today who should be getting a lot of credit. It's humbling and inspiring in equal measure to hear and read about the lives of all these people. And uh, I'd like to use that in giving one more round of applause for everyone who's received the award today.